Yes. Gabe the Dane, who was in the doldrums of mixed international rosters and never quite really got his moment in the spotlight. Well, no better spotlight than jumping into an opening game at the major representing Big Clan, who have always just been slightly shy of making a deep, deep run. You've got big names such as Tabson as well with the individual prowess of him. Looking to do damage here up against the plucky Entropic. Elliot, very impressive in the online realms with his AWP, but into the pistol and into some aggression. Chad, they've called an early trophy push and it's Keto's responsibility to house this. There's four of them here. Oh, the first duel's a mess. It's up to Searson. Another very flamboyant oh, individual. Good. And he's already handing out headshots. Yeah, lucky to be alive there. Issue, Searson is under so much scrutiny and he's just laughing it off. He's taken two of them down. And this one surely going to fall apart now. <laughs> He'll make it four. Grand Beautiful. total. What a clear up. Yeah, and that's great to see, right? If you're not too familiar with Searson, uh, he's an individual who, when the team are all off boot camping in the big facility, he's not there all the time. A particular guy likes things a certain way, but obviously now performing in the land environment here. And, well, what better way to do it with a pistol yeah. round like that? It I can't wait to see his AWP and the scout prowess. He's, uh, he's, he's fancy to watch. He certainly is. And I think, actually, uh, you know, in terms of rivaling him, Elian definitely has his Moments of brilliance. Yeah. But I will say moments of brilliance. There are times where he looks lost and times where he looks like he can see through walls. It's like a battle of those uh, juxtapositioned. Ooh. Yeah, so smoke wall. Incendiary to ensure a safe passage. Great nade, and that sets him up for the execution. Deagle to the dome. Nickelback does find one, and the scout converts. Oh, he's hitting everything here, Elian. Wasn't far off with his quick one down range. So a 4v3. This is hard right now for Big here, especially with that Galil picked on up. The scout as well still in play. Tabson having to find some room, and he has done exactly that. But Forrester, too good on the draw. Yeah, okay, Forrester. He should be set for another here. Oh, bit shy. Not enough bullets either. And Gade, the full HP, will have to do a lot. Searson responsible for the plant. Gets it down uncontested. Elian up from their rafters. And we're going to have about a... Th Two-man retake initially. It's Crad late oh, up the vent. With the flash from the vent as well. It's not going to be great from this position. No, and Gates really should have the uh, duel with Elian on lock. It's up to Nickelback, I think, to take this first contact. And they're going for the round the world. That's so ballsy. Searson's going to go for the walk now. It's up to Gage to delay. He does behead the vent player. He's got his back turned to heaven. But that should be enough. Searson's flank could, could win this. He just has to knock him off the bomb. Have to just sit has it. to knock it him has off the to bomb. Sit it. And that should be round with it. it. Just like that, they clean house. Searson with a very ballsy move round the world. And they turn a 2v3 on its head. Okay. All right. Happy to take risks like that here early. You love to see it. What a round. It started great for Entropic. Nickelback, the in-game leader. I'm sure we can get a couple of fun references in with him in the server here today. Gets an opener, gets a rifle. But getting away with it a big. And, well, the German squad here off to a good start right now because Entropic will need to be humbled during all of this. Just down to some pistols. Not too much more to boast about. Smoke wall being lined up. Bomb being dropped. And away we go again. Tizian jump spot, seeing if anybody's home. Smokes are now in the air, flying and sailing through that sky. Keto tasked with holding on to the lobby push, and he's going to have company soon through radio. Yeah, they seem to love this trophy aggression, and it could be rewarded again. It's up to this clear. This is the end of Searson and a double deeg to start things off. That's brilliant. Tabson called to action. He should have a weapon to retrieve. He's only operating at P250 for now. Priority <gasps> being Utiltizian twice now caught on his yard walks. And it seems that this one, this one could shape up very nicely. A two versus four early. Okay. Well, it fell apart <laughs> once. It yeah. can't fall apart again. I don't know if it is going to fall apart again. They, they should. Like, no armor. I, I I'm don't, just I don't getting know my how you lose this one. I'm getting my head around the UI. Get my, my head around the absent armor. You can see four members unequipped with that. Tabson should have some threatening Mac 10. There we go. And yeah, not going to happen. Elian knocks him down and Gade thrust into an unfavorable clutch. Full HP four? at least. Yeah, I mean, you know, he gets, yeah. a, he gets a first. Just a casual one on four from Gade here. All right, one on three now. Dark is often cleared. I wonder if he fancies it with a molly. He doesn't. Trying to fake it out. And that does bait another jumping straight into the jaws. Gade, you are threatening now. 30 seconds, he opts to worm his way into window. Doesn't really have the health nor the time for this. Does he need an event to top here? If he does, I mean, he's a dead man. Oh, swings open the door in a back turn. So there we have the conclusion.
Counter-terrorists secure their first. Yeah, good stuff there, right? Felt like Entropic should have won round number two, but hold up, we'll just win round number three when we bring in even less. So a buffer of cash right now. The purchase is coming on in. No dramas for them in that department, but for Big, questions to ask here. Now, Big are a conservative team. Probably, I would say, one of the most conservative teams who we would consider Tier 1. Uh, I notice a lot of the time they don't always go for the same four spies that I was talking <laughs> earlier in the day with Copenhagen. Well, how's that for a four spy? Okay, there you go. Well, this is just uh, completely taking everything I just said and threw it out the window. <laughs> yeah, you get Sears and Hero warping round four. Um, all right. You got some Deagles, even the Galil on Tizzy, and it's threatening. Two smokes as well here, so they can erect some kind of a wall with Tabson and Gade to make this one work. But with the AWP, you're hoping to find a pick here. Blackie, head on the chopping block, could be that pick indeed. If Sirson's not managing his angles well, he could stick a toe out of line, but not anymore. The mollies are good. Advancing now. Oh, and he's actually up on red, so he will have an advantage into the peak. Lackey, Lackey does connect the headshot, and there you have it. Still, Searson connected to the orb at least for one. That's not lost. Tabson's recovered it. He's no slouch. This one's getting awkward right now for Entropic. They've lost a lot of space. Forrester not ready for this. They're about to peel through heaven. He's looking the wrong way, but the shot was missed. <laughs> Two orps on the D side, huh? Melian's rifle's fallen into enemy hands, and they're happy to pull teeth here. Lobby playing around it. Now the CTs know it's their territory, really. Oh, hard one for Gade. An uncomfortable engagement for both of the players in heaven. It's lost. They make that clear. Keto still has some presence in Lobby, and he's knocked another head off. Lackey's gone. Oh, oh Keto just defends the lobby with a $700 pistol. Never mind the warp. Never mind the Galil. He'll equip one of those now. And Krad's already making his way to the low site, being loud about it. Bomb they are heading deep. in. Yeah, they're heading in now. It's timing on this door. Oh, Gay just looks away, but the bomb's safe. Planted now. Uncontestable. And the orbs are working. Wonders. What a recovery out of Big Clan here. It's up to Nickelback. Looking to lead by example, and the first is found. Good pre-fire. Knows there's not much armor in play. I say armor. Of course, have fully equipped with such. This is uh, more and more unlikely as time passes. Gives it a tickle. Confirm no one's on it. Does have that opportunity for a five-second defuse. Running very short on time here. Trying to isolate these engagements. Playing it very safe or big. And wow, they safe. actually put it out, Chad. I mean, I can't believe we were talking about just how... Unwilling Ooh. to take these gambles they are. They now about holding orb. on to the orb, and Gade will keep it on his person. Okay, all right. Well, this has been pretty scrappy. These After the pistol, since then, it's been quite scrappy. Uh, I think Sirison and the pistol round was the cleanest round that we've gotten so far. So back and forth we go again. Ah, Entropic lost everything there, really, didn't they? It was those two deagle kills that made the massive difference from Keto. Just some bangers of shots, but in terms of space, you could see that's why they had to push lobby. Is what happens now is when the T's are able to get yard control, push up to heaven, that position is no to the CTs. The response now is to push and try and take some space back. They haven't gone for a force by here in Tropic. It's just a couple of light investments. They've left themselves about 2k, so the buy will be coming out in the next round, but there's a tag. And super brave of Searson to hear a scout, know it's going to peak blue, and still be willing to take it or be scout, especially considering the speed by which Elian can operate with that. Safe, and diligent clears. Hey, interesting there, right? That flash was just designed to clear out that close left corner, so big not taking any chances here. Smoke wall up. A lot of subsiding and down secret, they'll pop with the bomb. But they don't have to commit here, right? You can see they left two players just floating behind red on top of main. Just find out what's home, see if anybody wants to chase that tail that slipped down secret. But you're not expecting a lot from Entropic in this round. Yeah, shouldn't be too much to say about this one. Big happy to just knock on that secret door, make it clear that there's a threat. Smoking off main to keep you guessing, and it was all up to Ellie, and he's confirmed that there's pressure coming his way. A slither gap held, Another some tag. damage inflicted. He is really chipping away at Big Clan with his scout and now looking to reposition. He's given them access to hell. Time's oh. going to become a problem here. 30 yeah. seconds. Lackey will get some confirmation as well that there's nothing towards the hell position. Heaven likely a threat. 25 seconds, lads. Loud about this. Confirms their suspicions. They're blocking, They're each, blocking other. each other. This is getting sketchy. Very uncomfortable scenes now. And yeah, you need both. You need both and you find both. Now from behind, this USP could oh. have won the round just there and then. Lackey 
unable to contest it. The bomb is oh, not going to go down. No time. There's no time. Round just winning. Live. Round winning from Crad. They can't find him. Oh, wow. That was it. A slight flub on the plan and Entropic rumble. A little bit too slow off the mark from Big. Wow. Wow. Okay. What a hero. You didn't. Yeah, it looked like they had it covered off there. As soon as you've come off of heaven and they get that kill of Lackey coming fast at the ladder behind, you think that's enough. You think, okay, well, they've dealt with this, but just not being able to cover all those gaps. Great stuff there in Tropic. They bounce back. A light buy again. And here we go into the rifles. Big. Well, they're going to struggle with some deagles. AWPs, rifles. We haven't even had a full gun round just yet. Oh, spotted. Gates yeah, saw that. He did. He knows it's coming, but that doesn't stop him. Lackey. Early impact. If you come towards his position as well, he's going to knock your socks off quite literally, Sisson. Barefooted for the rest of the round. Another tag out of Elian. Doesn't matter if it's Scout or Orb. He's finding early damage. Tizian, of course, forced to watch all of this transpire. Kind of just walking around, following each other like a bit of a bad smell here, Big, right? They're just looking to see if they can find any kills and then capitalize off of that space. But again, they still do have smokes for the smoke wall. And on the other side of things, and Tropic have actually gone through a big chunk of their utility. So if Big One, they can drop these smokes, they can make their way across down towards Secret. But then we'll have to deal with Elian's orb, which is lower. Now, lining some goodies up here. You can see Tabson making the call on the fly. Smoke drops, Molly towards Secret. Means they're going to work either towards Main or Ladder again here. Okay. Through the smoke, they really like this. Yeah, Nickelback's oh. just gonna laugh at them. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get worse than that. The only thing saving Keto was the reload. Nickelback looking to complete the set. Oh, and he will. That's perfect. Eight in total, four in that round. And now Entropic really tying things up and breaking the bank as well. Yeah, that's great. So they've dealt with big. Uh, and now we've actually seen them do it here when th when they should, right? The rounds that they've won prior to this are rounds that they're less likely to win. Coming through gray screen, they're all dead. Great round here from Nickelback. Really, really good stuff. And now they should get a gimme. Now they should be getting themselves their fourth round on the board here. Big have to swallow that pride and take themselves a bit of a save. Now, uh, Lackey's found a bit of impact in a couple of these rounds. He's been jarring with a kill or two. He's a player online when we've been casting in Tropic Games who I think has always had a bit more room, a little bit more to give. Because I remember years ago when we first saw Lackey and Elian on the same team, they were both you know, quite quite good players. I think uh, Elian is the only one who's maintained that. So if we can get a bit more out of Lackey here for Entropic, that'll be exciting. But multiple bodies spotted. And multiple bodies dropping. Forrester and Elian both chime on in. Three more to find, and this one should be done and dusted quite quickly. Oh, Elian. Oh, he does hit everything, doesn't he? And he's quick. On his head. Oh, he's not quite dead yet. It changes quickly. Crad will deal with it. And Entropic. Yeah, they are looking like the individuals are at least here and present in their opening game. Yeah, so uh, just the, the men behind these teams as well for Entropic. We have Hooch. Some of you may remember him. Quite a legend from uh, the, the Russian days. And on this side, Big Legia has taken over the duties there. They still have Dude. He's doing the analyst work, but uh, not with the team currently. So here we go. It's going to be... Okay, here we go. Now that conservative conversation I tried before they did the Force by Orb, now it comes into fruition. You can see now uh, Big here are taking another partial investment. So they had an Eco, now they have a half buy, and with this Util trying to... Keep Entropic Honest. Bullets through the smoke, nothing found. Crowd with the nade as well is going to be shy of the mark. A rally of nades in exchange here, but it is back towards Yard where the focus needs to be. Elian's responsible for this. He's actually, interestingly, more concerned about Silo. And Tizian, just a quick graze of his knee. Oh, Elian being hunted. He knows it's coming. Great response with the nade. And now it's just a question of what Searson can get done. He's trying to play against the orc, play to his strengths. Elian proves he has a sidearm too, though. And his P250 is the one to connect. It's only Keto. Left to his own devices with a Deeg and a Kevlar vest. He was sharp on the Deagle earlier. Yeah, got two. I he don't think he, only he has needs a one get four in him. Four? Yeah, it's easy, right? 50 seconds left. Everything you like. Today's yeah. games, right? If you just have a bit of a recap, because Keto's just gone for a walk, giving you guys a tour of uh, the nuclear power plant. I think the only real upset we've we've had so far, I think, was the, uh, the Copenhagen Flames game, right? 
Ents won theirs, VP won theirs, Phase won Just theirs. Just by the yeah, way. Yeah, the VP oh one was very gosh. close. Good to see your kin to have a good performance in that one. I didn't personally get to see it. We were no. casting at the time, but the stats say that he had a, a pretty decent game. Yeah, and my heart bleeds as well for pain because from what I'm understanding is I caught the clutch. I was just in the green room for that, yeah. but I understand they lost the anti-eco afterwards. I mean, after you know when you've just had a, like a yeah. career-defining clutch and it's full match point and then you lose the anti-eco. You don't love that. Yeah. You definitely don't love it's that. It's just a bit of a heartbreak one. It makes you uh, a better player in the grand scheme, <laughs> right? That's how it's supposed to be going down. We can frame it every one. But yeah. look at this. Aggression. Lackey and Elliot paired Back up. Back to it. Very aggressive here. They're not stopping. Yeah, and they're all backs turned. They can hear the backs are turned. So look many people looking the wrong way. Uh, it's booked. Fortunately, Tabson's controlled the spray with masterful precision. A quick descent. Okay, Big have got some pace and some intent now. Very deep main smoke. You'll have to just accept that one. Take that one on the chin. Searson's got your vent lock. What's the util situation? Two smokes, Molotov. They will be able to take the space on ramp. And in fact, look, juggling it over to Tizian so we can get the windows and smoke off Elian. Chances are, and if I know Elian, he might even want to play ahead of them. He sees the window break. He surely knows what's coming next. And he's not smoked off just yet. Oh, okay. Well, open for business for Big Clan. You've got about another go 10 this. seconds. Sight is clear. Searson's found Nickelback, and Searson's dealt with them both. Two CTs down the vents and on lock by that close quarters open. Lock it down, looking to save. Yeah, all right. Uh, that's why, I, as soon as they had lost that control, there's not too many ways back in. And with Searson just set up with that AWP, he's either going to be watching ramp, watching vent. He's going to have something covered off, and he's going to be good for a kill or two. And well, exactly that comes on through. So holding on to these goodies right here, should be seeing another buy coming on through in the following round. From the Entropic boys. Shouldn't be too many dramas. You can see we've got uh, about 7k on Elian here, about 8k on Forrester. So even if their teammates require drops, they will be able to make all the magic happen. But bomb goes off. We keep a one round differential right here, five to four. And they make it look easy. So a bit of a tug of war right now. Nobody pulling too far ahead just yet. And happy to have that conservative approach. And we uh, do have that B stream going on, PGO underscore CSGO on Twitch. It's Renegade taking on the Movistar Riders, two very passionate fan bases, I might say. So if you want to have both those heading on at the same time, they're also playing on Nuke. There we go. I'm genuinely interested to see how far or how much Movi can do. Yeah, yeah. Renegades is a good team for them to it is. Kind is of, it, you know, call it a litmus test, you yeah. know, like just to dip our toe in and see what the Spaniards can do. The first Spanish team at a Counter-Strike Major. Pretty big deal. It is. Very big deal. I mean, also, let's talk about, you know, Brazil. I know we've just casted Godsend, but the fact that Brazil were almost entirely absent of the previous major and now are one of the largest... 21. They had the most, they had what, the most they, players at this one. 21. What a recovery. Yeah. You know, for... the for a, so many new names. For such, yeah, for such a pr uh, huge fan base as well. Like, I mean, the South American support for Counter-Strike is, is second to some. But Bonkers. Yeah, incredible. Okay, here we go. Getting this one back underway. So you can see that Searson pair. It was both down the vents and just knocking them out. Lovely stuff. All right, let's get back into it. Round 10, game on. Elian on his AWP, Searson on his, and actually sending it straight towards Same perhaps a, another way. aggressive trophy push. And then smoke this time. We'll get Searson into some more controlling position. Are they both going to play behind the smoke here? Kido's found Forrester. Oh, oh my no god. Yeah, he's safe now. The molly would have caused a lot of problems. He oh. could and still does go down. Look how much pressure they exert so early into the piece. Okay, well, <laughs> an equal exchange here. 4v4. Smoke wall up. He's been having his troubles as Tizian so far. And elsewhere. It's a second for Kido. Yeah, that's a great one. Two backs turned. Good find. Good find from Tizian. He's caught Nickelback's yard hold, and now the site just falls. Under the German rule. Might have to be another save here. Yeah. Yeah. I know it doesn't sound ideal, but it all happened so quickly. Like, Searson actually gave up his position with that no-scope. Like, it looked cool, but he was actually mollied in. And that's why Lackey was so liberal with the bullets right there on the spam, but nothing he can do. And they did a deep molly first. If the second molly had landed, like, I mean, he was cream cracker. Yeah. What, what, but nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Throws the no-scope in, and that just confirms that they know they've got about five seconds of an AWPer sitting there behind a smoke, praying he doesn't go down to a spray. All right, well, let's see if this is the, the changing the tide right here, because Big now equalizing things, five all. Entropic, in these last couple, haven't been able to put up too much of a fight. Now, that obviously has to change at a certain point. There's enough money to drop rifles across again. So the buy 
No dramas there. But remember when they had the pistols and it was a bit scrappier, those were the type of rounds that they were winning. Now, the second was virtue of Crad stepping out hut and getting a kill and the bomb not being able to get planted in time, mind you. But we're still in the scrappier scenarios here. So maybe some pep in the step required for Entropic right now. Feels very grindy, right? For this big, it just does, feels quite yeah. grindy, right? They just—they're going through the paces. They'll grind you out. They'll make the necessary kills. Seems a bit default heavy early. There's not being forced or made to feel too awkward here. This was keto, and okay, so that molly you could see on the ground there, making it look like uh, there was maybe a little bit more room to work with. Good stuff from keto. Great conversions, and here we go again. Double orp seem to be the response here. So lackeys into one, Ellie and the primary onto the other. I wonder if we'll see any more. Like, like he's demonstrated he's up for the task of like a bit of an aggressive yard. We've seen him swing out on that red a little bit as well. See where he looks to find that impact. Two orbs in play, and Elian has been leaning more towards that ramp side of the map. But let's get into it. Might, looks like a turtle setup right now with both orbs you know, playing kind of far back here. Okay, so... Aren't going to be getting too many early engagements. But if I'm big, I'm also hyper paranoid about this trophy push. Like, it's they've, they've demonstrated that there's going to be either a smoke or bodies or both early on towards that trophy lobby pressure. Yeah, so right now, if you just take a look at big setup, they're waiting out all the protocol utility, right? So the mollies and smokes that land towards Hut and Squeaky early to stop the rush, to stop the vent control. They've rotated Elian down towards Secret here on the Entropic side, and he has to be careful. He can't have a misstep here because he could very well lose his head. Tizian's the one finding the room towards Yard right now. And I think he's going to call that off. So he's cleared the close right. He knows that there can't be anybody too up close and personal to call no Yard presence. And that's a great start for Big with a minute left on the clock. Still plenty of utility left for them. A bunch of smokes, a couple of mollies, some flashes as well. They can set up for a top set piece. And we've seen Big with some quirky ones. We might even see the one where they molly through the rafter position. Okay, setting up for top heart. So is this going to be any more layers to it, or is it just the top finish? At 30 seconds, you, they you could probably drop, they could end up on vent. Yeah, it's up to the fall of the cards. Very Great blind. flash. What a flash. And down the vents with the bomb. Bang on. Searson's not allowed, and neither is the next. Keto beheaded. Oh, my God. They can't even get the bomb down. What a response. It's up to Tizian. Not even allowed to pick up that bomb. Gade all alone. Left, disconnected from the pack, and the bomb. He's been spotted out by the still lingering Rafters player. And he will go hunting for it. That's great. That's even Huge better. Damage, Takes man. two of the CTs in the 1v4 and allowed to retrieve, or rather maintain, his AK-47. So that's something. Uh, do they think he was going to save or something there? Were they trying to deny that? Because like the chase right there, they big have had a couple of rounds. They've kept a lot of players alive. They're looking pretty good for cash. So by going into Gade like that, I feel like you had a little bit more to lose if you were in Tropic. Well, fair play. Crad actually hit that headshot on Searson. A bit of a wild one, but he was fully flashed. And had they got down three players down that vent, it's a very different round. So Crad, despite the perfect pop flash from Big, does contribute in a big way. Okay, well, the buy's back in. There's no dramas there whatsoever. M4s, orbs, everything still looking beautiful right now for Entropic as they do pull ahead by one round yet again. Going to start turning the screws here, and we're going to have a heads-up orb duel if Searson continues this jaunt towards ramp. Yard smokes have been dropped on out. What rotations will that force here? It's all about that chessboard and moving those pieces around. Yeah, so pressure yard. They're hoping that leads to a little opener here on Lackey's hold. They boost this and Doing up. it again. Yeah. Leg spotted. He's pre-aiming it. Oh, oh, he's ready for you. Waiting the time and hits the shot, Searson. Executed, missing his second chance and allowed to retreat, but the orbs fill the feed for Entropic. What Even little remains trying to, yeah. Bit of you a on-the-fly call. There's someone waiting for... Oh, yo, my God, Forrest is going to be feeling a little hot under the collar. Taunted by Gade, and they've got time. Like, they can actually slow this down. What was a 3v5 has become oh. a little more threatening. He scuffed the one way. Yeah, still full vision for Elian to work with here. You need to flash him off. And they have a missed oh, shot. No, oh, they're locking each other. It's absolute pandemonium on the top site. Still 30 seconds, and they Bomb will go down. for a full plant. Okay, game on. And Tapson's maybe going to get away with this. He wants to make it clear, like bait, that Gade has a timing, and he does. Strikes into Elian. There's more as well. This double orb retake's not ideal. Nickelback up from heaven has nothing oh, to report. what is going on? Gade with another... 
This round is ridiculous. It's the Dane that saves them four from Gade. How? And remember how that started. <laughs> two orb kills. Two orbs. They went up heaven. Gade got the kill on the ladder. Literally on the ladder. Against Forrester on the ladder. I'd love to see that one again. I mean, look what? at this nonsense. He's playing What's with- What is Forrester doing? He's embarrassed after that one for sure. And then brilliant. You can see what Tampson's intentions were. Gade had a bit of a head start. S try and sell. I am on the hut side. I am on the hut side. And it was enough for Elliot to have his knife out. Brilliant I can't work. I believe that. All right. Well, that's done a lot here. <laughs> Tropic are bruised right now. They are able to buy something. Oh, God, Keto. That's naughty as well. That's Down hurt. loudly. He didn't quite catch the ladder as he intended. But. <laughs> At, at the bare minimum, you, you're forced to rotate and a frag. Back. I'm not sure either. You you had to. This is kooky. They had to have heard that drop, surely. Maybe the LAN comms are at an all-time high. Yeah, that's true. There is a bit more ambient noise, right? It's not the quiet of your bedroom at home here. We do know that audio can play a, a bit of a bigger factor right now. But with a player lower, if you just do secret wall smokes right now and cross, Keto can cover this off. Right, this should be Big's round, unless they trip over their own shoelaces. Yeah, if they do yard smokes though, and that lobby player is again the hero of the previous, so I wouldn't count your blessings. If Gade was to go down, it gets awkward. Wait, that's the bomb. Oh, wait, hold that's up, hold on, that is the bomb. What version of Counter Strike are they playing? It's different to the one that we play, that's for sure. We don't even leave, take the bomb from T spawn, <laughs> so they've got it to lobby at least. and. Well, now we find ourselves in a three-on-three, three, but this one is all topsy-turvy. It is. Yeah, a bit of a role reversal. So now it's the T's looking to <laughs> retake, if you Ooh, will. The whole lobby position, 30 From the seconds. top side. Oh, and he's been caught out by Forrester's lingering presence. This is odd. It is odd, but it is around. <laughs> no dispute in that. Tizian's got so much to deal with. The perfect molly, maybe. No, it hasn't Not spread. Not spread. Oh. Well, that sours the mood quite quickly for Big Clan. And yeah, push from three different angles of Assault in Tropic 7. Uh, Chad Birchall with the weather. Uh, so they, they went, They they. I think Big tried to be too tricky because if they had just gone yard and just done the secret smokes and just left Keto to cover off the vent rotation, they would have been fine. But oh. what they opted to do was have Keto sell a lower fake, hope that that would draw the players back towards the lower site from ramp instead of pushing lobby. So Gade was on his own. He goes down as part of the top split brigade. And it's all done and dusted. And now they're on a bloody eco. A full eco. That was the two very strange rounds of Counter-Strike there in a row right here. And watch it might the, even get weirder. Watch, watch this. <laughs> Whoa, well, you ain't seen nothing yet, Chad. I've got more weirdness for you. And so did Big Clan. There should be absolutely nothing more to be said about this. Lackey's been caught. And AK has fallen into enemy hands. And Tapson absolutely no slouch on it. He has been quiet. Just the three frags to his name so far. He's been given the gift of a run boost across. That's pretty stylish. Info, though. Elian spots it. Oh, and a hard fight. Tizian unwilling. Or unable, rather, to convert. He hits that. The tags, he though, hits you know? That. Yeah, I would love to see his ADR for an AWPer. Well, it does get sketchy, of course. Okay, well... They're across. They don't really have anything to work with. They have to hope for the kills. I think they heard the footsteps. If they can isolate Ellie in here. Okay, well, he is drawing them in. Tapson's AK is still oh. present only for a second. You thought you had the collapse. I thought he was going to kill his teammate. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought was about to happen. All right. <laughs> Eight to six. Well, they've won the half. Okay. This has been odd, right? Let's just recount the rounds that Entropic have won. They won a force by round. Well, it wasn't even a force by round. It was the... They lost the force by. Then they went for a pistol upgrade round. Then won that. So then they won a round as well where Crad gets a kill to deny the plant. They've had that really strange one that we just had a gun round and a bit ago. But all right. All right. Final round here of the first half. Nothing different. We'll just be standard stuff from Big here. No crazy pace changes. No fast moves down secret. Just more of the same. Posturing, setting up, playing a bit passive on this. And, well, that flash facilitating Forrester here to go for a hut peak. They have a lot of lobby information right now. And Tropic are on high alert towards the yard position. Go back smoked off. And Forrester's even found a kill. Yeah, okay. He went looking on hut. Gets a bullet in the dome. And the next question is, what Tizian can get away with here? He's actually just walking through. And the smoke, it's not ideal for him. Far from it. 
Crad greets him with more hot lead and this one just falling apart. No one dead. Entropic looking for the clean finish. And just shy of it. One to the good for the 1v5. Keto's good. I'm not sure he's quite capable. Entropic not going to let this one go. They know exactly where you are. And Elian collects nine on their CT hall after an absolutely bonkers first half. Yeah, it was a little bit strange, I have to say here, but uh, both teams going to be quite happy with that considering how the things unfolded within that first half. But uh, just some notes, like having Tizian as that yard lurk, I, I swear for the longest period of time, he was the squeaky player, right? I remember we'd always talk about Tizian. He'd be the guy in squeaky door, making sure you can't rotate down the fence and all that good stuff. And now having him as your yard lurk and behind the smoke walls, I don't know if he's proactive enough of a player. Gade as your lobby lurk. Yeah, like I, I understand why you want to kind of take that responsibility away from Tabson in yard, right? Because you want him to be more with the pack, being able to call, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. But look, these are questions I'm sure the desk can break down in the middle of the day here as they discuss through the first eight best of ones. But in Tropic, look, they're, they're not sitting pretty, but they're in a very decent spot here. We yeah. get back up Like they're in the way. VIP luxury seats with the reclining feature, maybe a little massage or heat. We're into our pistol and already going for a vent dive. No one's down. got the info. Three of them Not even down. holding. We might even get the plant in the first 20 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Straight down. And they can even collapse up towards ramp. Uh, rude shock for Keto. Nice headshot. And hello. Back turn. Oh, Crad does nothing. Has nothing to contribute. And there's more headshots to be found. It looked so good for a second. Now already on the defuse. This might be one of the quickest pistols sitting we've it. seen. Just, Just sitting, sitting it. it down. And that'll do nicely. Big clan takes seven. Yeah, great shooting from Keto, right? We've had a couple of rounds with Keto that have uh, been phenomenal on the pistol. Uh, here's some more of it there. I think that was the final bullet necessary to take out Forrester in that. Now, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll give you lower, and then we'll just retake the site, apparently. Here's the one. Here's the two. And uh, the third was pretty tasty as well. Just bang. Second bullet necessary there. So I got to learn to count, but here we go. Still looks quite threatening, doesn't it, from the T side? Yeah. What have we got? A couple of Galils in the mix, a Scout, a Deagle, and light util. So I, I wouldn't expect them to get a move on about this. Take it a little bit slower, wait out those protocol nades. Make sure they're not just running through Molotovs and gray screens. And okay, well, seriously, you're not going to repick that one. Scout noted. Big are now well aware that they're dealing with quite the board up force by. Yeah, Lynn's caught a bullet elsewhere. I think that must be a Scout down just around 10 HP. He's dropping back from Yard now, so it's been kept honest here. And it's important that he doesn't go down. He has uh, quite the chunk of utility. You can see a smoke, a flash, and a Molotov to displace here. And chucking some stuff across, so that's going to make it easier for Tizian to re-smoke over towards that hut position. It's the finer details of life here. Now the smoke wall is being lined up. This looks like it should be the standard secret crossing. They go towards ramp. That's where the org lies, and that's going to mow them down quite nicely. They're like statues here. So hoping the CTs over-rotate, hoping the CTs look for information somewhere. Where's the weak point? Where's the gap? Oh, noisy about it. 30 seconds. This top fake. Top fake into the org. Keto for more impact. The pistol was his, and only the one. But through the flames, Tabson will contribute. What? I'm not sure. Forrester just throws his body into the grinder. And there's more to be found. Searson can't believe his luck. He assumes they've slipped. They're still looking to pick up the bomb. And yeah, that one, a little limp, really. Yeah, okay. Well, big. Really about to tie things back up here. It should be Entropic looking at a save. Maybe a Deagle, maybe a PT-50 at most. A flash would be fantastic. It's trying to set them off here. And yeah, uh, they were given the space again, though. I think that's one of the notes right there. You see Sirius and taking a look on the right-hand side. It may be worried that somebody did make yeah. it across through that secret wall smoke and was going to pop his head up. So that's good information for us that Big weren't aware of what was behind that wall. But Entropic don't know that. So for them, they're going to be operating in a bit of a blind spot here. 2. Point, what, seven on the high end. How taking a timeout, right? This is where Hooch is going to get an opportunity here to chime on in and maybe give them an idea or two. And I don't know if the idea is going to even be for this round. You're not looking to get a lot out of this round to play round number 18. It's going to be going into the next where things can hopefully heat on up and get a bit more exciting. The two MP9s, the Galil, the Thamus. 
the scout, if you're big and you keep a clean sheet here, you'll get a, a bonus round in the next round of play, and that's going to be looking very, very good. You can throw something a little bit strange, or you can even just operate it as it is a full gun round. MP9 is really good to use for ramp, top lockdowns, all that good stuff. Yeah, gone are the days where the lobby crunch is the most common route. Searson, under some pressure now, and he's got the support. Oh, the Look at that. Yeah, the waterfall of blocks. It's been dealt with. Very easily, Stylish. Elliot. You cheeky, cheeky boy. Yeah, very cool. No, you're not going to sit on the ladder for more, are you? He's he actually trying. might. He's trying to fake it out. Come on, Gade. You feeling it? You feeling frisky? Manages to avoid the nade and all of his pre-fire funny business. and He'll have an AWP now, at least, with no dramas. He's going to have armor behind it. It's going to be looking all right. Whereas, maybe otherwise, he could have been a little bit shy. Good point. He might even pocket some more change here, you know. That untarnished bonus. Well, now only oh! two of them remain. Elian takes them both down. A one on five with a knife. You can't. No you armor, bro. another smoke, though. Suddenly, big start getting sweaty palms. Flashbacks of their oopsies in the first half. Return to their frontal lobe. Elian. Playing mind games with these boys. That's the second smoke he's thrown. And he's not done yet. Oh, he's not done yet. <gasps> oh, whoo! Keto lets out a sigh as the ninth is secured. Elian, I mean, what, what started off as trying to make a pretty damn good little fortune, little nest egg for him, which he has done. Eight, Eight grand. Eight. Yeah. And the stylish little knife, you can see <laughs> spinning himself around for that backstab insta. And then this is just extra bonus points for him. Forces the rebuy on those two. Keto holds his nerve and saves the round. Yeah, that conversation about the bonus round for Big, throw that one out the window. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah, so uh, a very, very good round, all things considered, for Entropic. And here we go. Let's see. Can Elian open things up with his AWP? He's having he just a go. Works so hard to get smoked off immediately. Warning shots through. Big now know what they're working with. Both teams are just more than happy to play this slow spread. Oh, not so slow. Not so slow. Tizian does evade nicely. So far, they're just having a little knock. Perfect pop flash. And the pressure doesn't stop. That smoke alone will get Gade on notice. Playing with Big Clan a bit here. And you can see Keto's there to answer if anyone has snuck on down, walked on down those vents. He can confirm it's quiet. Resmoke squeaky and poof. At the same time, it looks like Entropic is starting a project towards main. Yeah, well, they've been able to avert the gaze of the yard holder here. So space to work with right now and plenty of time on that clock. Pressure going to be felt now as they work their way around towards heaven. Oh, perfect. Elian could not have been holding a better angle for that. Tabs Safety him, gagging back. for info, and Elian just slaps him away. Well, now they're up heaven here and trying to boost. This is going to get oh, awkward on the oh, timing. Oh, the timing, especially with a fumble. If they linger a little too long, Gade will be in a power position to punish. It's about the cross. <gasps> Says, what? You quick switch in, swaps away. Nickelback will punish, and it's all on to Tizian. Only the one is allowed to be provided. Crad keeps them honest. The site is theirs. The bomb to be planted. And oh, Elian couldn't have a better position for this one. Try, tries to throw a pot shot into Keto just as it blooms, but playing for the round here. Yeah, right now, if you're big, holding on to these weapons, very, very important to do so. Question is, do Entropic want to try and take anything away? This will be their round. They are going to get things up to 10. And now oh, this just continues. It has just been quite back and forth here with a couple of fumbles. But as we mentioned at the start, nuke for both teams. It's not like it's at the top of the map pool. We talk about best of ones getting to the middle ground. Well, this is like the yeah. lower end of the middle ground right. for both it's of these It's like squads. we've got, you know, 100-meter uh, sprinters running the 5K. Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh. Oh. They're not running anymore. They're limping the 5K because uh, that AWP is... snapped his ankle. Yeah, long gone. Okay, well, it's uh, a FAMAS. It's a FAMAS. And a grand total of two got? rifles. Keita can drop one. Yeah. If you fancy your Tizian chances. Can buy. Like, they... This is the, what we were talking about with Elian, by the way. You saw that in the highlight package. Just holding the perfect ang. And there goes the AWP. Sisson, hunted. Good yeah. work from Crad. You see, you see he was hanging out with James Banks as well, getting that I tattoo. I did see that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think James did some content with Crad back at the, the last major we had as well, so... What, 27 years ago? Yeah, 27, like. that's the one. While dissuaded very early, cheeky little aggressive maneuver Keto was looking to pull off there, but d denied, and he will dip on back. They really are just working with this Famous, and you have to find some huge impact here. I don't hate the boost. 
just it, have to hope that they come towards ramp. It's though, just an all in, yeah. Yeah, the, the bomb right now over towards yard. Looks like they're lobbing out some smokes now. Very likely just to scamper down secret here. and It's a good call. There's yeah. no one home. This is just looking like uh, the, the runway is open here. Now, that was the case on the pistol round. They were able to drop down the vent and get into the lower side, and, and Big were happy to retake, but this is a completely different story, right? They, they don't want to be retaking, especially the weapon disadvantage, the utility disadvantage. Okay, well, at least Keto's awareness or the communication he needs of like Big... like three kills, dude. Yeah, it's put him into, like, some degree of a influential position. What's he opting for, Dark? Okay, well, the door does swing open, and he gets nothing done. Absence USP, the only thing to fill the feed in favor of Big. They're all around him here. Oh! Raw. <laughs> Lots heard. <laughs> and there you have it. So in, in Tropic, a two round lead at this point here. Th this is starting to really settle on in. The money over there for Big, if you take a little bit of a look, you can see that they don't have enough to splash into a buy. Sirius with 3.3, Taps with 3.8. So they could make this work by dropping an AWP for Sirius, and then that means somebody else, maybe a Tizian, would have to operate with a pistol or an SMG. The cheaper M4 might make them, might tempt them into the buy, but it is going to have to be a discussion here and the first time out taken right now to, to talk through exactly those options because, yeah, you can get that AWP. Keto or Tizian could drop that, right? But you, then relying on Sirius to be able to find some impact here. So you're putting a lot of eggs into that basket. He's actually invested in with a little bit here. A 5.7, some util behind it, some Kevlar, and the same for the rest. And look, you can understand it. The CT side of Nuke, you want to have all your goodies here. And if they can keep this one threatening, if they're able to make it competitive, maybe even save a rifle or two, that, that's not too shabby. But in Tropic, if you're looking at the buys and the way it's reflected right now, yeah. they should be looking good for 12. Yeah, and I mean, it's such a stark contrast when you see the way Ents were buying and then you look the way Big were buying. Sure. There is, you know, we're already seeing a stylistic difference in terms of what they feel like they can get away with Big, make it apparent that they need the bells, the whistles, the lanyards. Well, at least safe from the stack nade. It's a lovely little set piece you can throw into that site player. So pretty much the standard hold. Five sevens? I mean, the snapping turtle, Chad. We know this pistol. It's not bad, especially close, squeaky, and hot. If anyone was to step a toe out of line, these five sevens can snap closed and punish. And they're set up. The gap is yard. And, well, you'll never believe where Entropic are going. Straight towards the gap. Yeah, and look at these smokes as well. So they've even been able to smoke off towards the locker room. So they're going to get the space to work with here. Taps is the man they have to clear. Oh, he doesn't get better than that. AK Missing Express away. delivery. Lackey services have put an AK-47 into a very threatening hand. I mean, they chose not to invest into this. If they could connect to the Hail Mary round. I mean, 38. Sketchy the clock now, could yeah. become an enemy here, Chad. And even this angle from Tizian, I mean, it, it will be likely cleared, but he will get a chance to pull the trigger. And look how much pressure they well. have in trophy, Where bro. Where are they meant to go? They have to go through into top. If they go out squeaky and drop vent, that is the best decision they can make right now. And they come in top site. The bomb's going in through hot It's going to be so Tizian. fast. Tizian does take a head. Here comes it's the flank. So They're not fast. looking. They're not looking. It's so fast. The taste of their own medicine. Look from behind. Keto strikes. The bomb will not be planted. And so many weapons to hoover up. Let's see how efficient they are. Three AK-47s and an AWP. Could not have been better. Big Clan, conservative in their investment, but absolutely brilliant in the execution. Well, they got one of their own back, right? You just have to remember, again, we'll highlight it again, that crad round. But this time, it's going to be Big pulling the rug out from under them here. And just the quickness of this flank. Like, even if Gade goes down there, it's still so unlikely that Entropic are able to convert this round. You see Elian taking fights on multiple fronts. And back and forth we go. So neither the team willing to relent right here. We keep one round the difference. And both are going to be able to buy again. Crad clearly enjoying this T-sided Krieg. He's gone for that purchase one more time. Money's starting to be siphoned through now, however. Nickelback doesn't have a lot left after he's going to buy nades here. The rest of the team's starting to look a little bit bleak as well. Forrester has the most with 2.5. Nickelback with only $50. So that's the price range they're working with here. And the loss bonus coming through in the next round of play as well. Need to get something out of this in Tropic. Well, big... Scuttled together a couple here to close out this map. Passive position taken from Sirius in there. Squeaky blown off, nades thrown. 
Crab's not bad either, so a little tickling either way. Searching Crab looks you aggressive. Oh, he's very through. He's aggressive. Through. Okay, but Keto, only the one. It's Nickelback that immediately reclaims the ramp room, and they are quick to the descend. Gade, the same down the this vent. This is fast. Look how quick they are. Tizian, he's in support. That's a perfect smoke, so we can still swing open that doors and question the plan. Looking the wrong way. Shots to the thigh. The CTs are here, but so are the Ts. This could be a very quick 4v4. Out of nades here. Entropic have to get the bomb down now. Oh, that's a good flash. Really good flash. It for will force more time off the clock. Bomb to be planted. The bodyguards are in. Another for good measure. This is the fight. And it does go down. One for one. Up to Lackey. Can't deliver a second. Elian can, as can Nickelback, putting another frag in the feed. They know he's dark. Searson in the 1v2. He's got time to wait it out, but Elian has got no reason to give him an inch. The molly's perfect. He will get the fight. Swings out. Aggressive and Nickelback makes it 12 and Tropic into the low site. Great stuff from Nickelback. We haven't been saying his name an awful lot, but maybe we should. 20 kills for him at the moment. He is having a great game here. You see, this, there's a transfer we, we kind of didn't get to catch from his POV, but we caught in the replay where he did manage to control a beautiful AK spray. He's been looking good individually. I think originally the first time I saw him was it, it maybe in Prosto or, or Pro 100, depending on which part of the world you're from. So, uh, coming a long way. Lots of bits of bobs changing around here, but we continue just to exchange these rounds. I like this. Buy again. Love me some aggression, and oh, he's obscured. Can't quite see through the incandescence of the flame. Sis and strikes, and he's allowed to retreat. The perfect smoke. Guys, is his re position. Tabson catching Forrester's aggressive yard presence, and just like that, Big Clan find themselves two man to the good. And completely rejigging the setup. After fighting ramp, excuse me, fighting yard, they find themselves two man holding towards this low site. Yeah, so right now that alien actually has a lot more room to work with than he's aware. He doesn't have to worry about that elbow fight. Crowd's gonna park himself towards Squeaky and yeah, Keto's off angle, that ain't easy to clear. How well trained is Elian's clears? And against an org, he's not gonna get many chances here. Dry. Nice bait. Nickelback again with impact. Puts his name in the feed and a chance now. Crad has the rotation. Coming more and more realistic. If anything, it looks like they might have an advantage. And Crad confirms our suspicions. Tabson to try and save the day have here. To deal with him. Important frag to find. Elian knows what he's doing, though. He's actually posted up on Decon. Oh. He's not ready. In his blind spot, Tabson will strike for two. That's round defining. Crad late to the party. The bomb on the low side. Surely the CTs can lock this one down. Can he even get past the first challenge? Oh, perfection. <laughs> Tabson times it. Considers the option, doesn't need a secondary AWP, and happy to rock the Kalashnikov. So gap closes, and so do the funds. Yeah, this is this is the issue, right? When you're at the tail end here, and both teams are just trading rounds back and forth, neither really able to establish that much of an economy. That's how it started, and the fact he got away was the problem. So Tabson, actually with four kills in this round right here, lots of impact felt from the in-game leader. And another timeout called for Entropic now. One more remaining here. Looks like bigger. Going to level the playing field up. The loss bonus of 1,400 coming on through. That's not going to buy them a lot right now. Elian does have 5.9k, so they could get him out on an... Okay, I was going to say an AK, but all right. Let's go as audacious as we can. Let's get the AWP. The rest of the team should be eco behind this. They're really turning their attention to their star Orpa of Entropic to get something done right now. A pick is essential. Some P250s. They're going to scoop up whatever they can. But All it right. is on Elian. It, yeah. it, this is on Elian. They, they, he needs to find them a pick, right? right? It's sure if they want to jump out and bait for him and, and try and give him an opportunity, but he needs to be the one dictating the play here. Well, you know what they say, Chad? One in his name. Let's see if he can live up to the hype. Lackey as well. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> They're all doing it. Bits got one as well now. Yeah, you're right. They're all adding them. Following suit. Yep. Keto, watch him soon. Throw that one into the mix. Oh, he's already got it. Yep. Yep. All right, here we go. Elian, it's on you, mate. Oh, he wants someone to bait for him, that's for sure. I just think trying to go for a T-side hero it's, AWP on Nuke. It's very Elian, it's very Russian, and it's going to work. Okay. He's got so much time. He's played this out. Many a scrim, the hero warp has got to be whipped out. 
at a crucial juncture in the game. He gets his peons to go and bait and draw util as best they can. They throw out some of Oh my god, it's a disaster. Get out, get out, pull the plug. Nickelback does provide something but a lovely pair of frags from the double T, leaving Elian already cowering with his AWP. Yeah, and now he just has to save and sit here. Like he... <sighs> All right, any 30-second uh, topics you want to talk about? Anything we can do in 30 seconds. Um, <laughs> There's lots of things I can do in 30 seconds. Yeah, look, uh, there's been some real interesting financial decisions from teams in these last two best of ones. The God Sent one as well, and now this one here with Entropic on that AW. Like, if you weren't willing to lose the AWP, I don't understand why you'd go for it because you have to take some risks with that if you wanted to convert this round. It's like, we'll buy it, and then if we don't get anywhere, I'll just save it. It's like, well, no, that's not the point. The point is, you'll buy it so you can get us some kills so we can win the round. Yeah, I mean, you go ramp, you find, get to fire off a shot, and then there's smokes, and then you just end up fine staring at a 45-second timer and committing into that hut really did end disastrously. Fair play, Nickelback found a little bit of room, but yeah, an incendiary landing on your nose and sprayed down. It was well-timed. Yeah, it was. for sure. Couldn't have been better. Okay, so uh, this is it. It almost feels like we're getting to last chance saloon right now for Entropic here because they're still down the bottom. Of, well, both teams are. Uh, both. There's a bit of a knife's edge right now, right? right. The, the loss bonus is not looking good either way. So here we go. There needs to be something from Entropic here. They can't let Big grab the reins of this one. Yeah, it would be firmly in their grasp if they can. So defining round for this best of one. They're out hot. They're coming in quick, thick and fast. Gate two of the three required. It's Tizian that does neutralize Crad quick. But hang on, Elian, he's fam in familiar territory. <laughs> Another clutch soon. demanded of him, he might be. That's if Tizian lets him. Hangs in the off angle, a good wall bank connection. And Elian strings together two consecutive shots. Not gonna happen, Searson. Quick to neutralize any hype. And there's your 13th. And now this is what you were talking about, Chad. You know, you, you, it looked like a competitive half. You just tuned in, you see a 12-12, but this is where the, the clock is ticking for Entropic. You see Gade's contributions here. It's a simple position. It's often occupied, but there's just so many angles as you swing out of that hut and Gade profits from their negligence. Uh, just uh, a, a rough one now because it's back to pistols here. Uh, I think that Entropic are going to be kicking themselves that they lost that round where Lackey initially gave up the AK against the pistol upgrade, a big towards that yard position, and then it continued to fall apart from there. So the ramifications of that one are being felt right now. And they will be stomaching what should be a 14th for big here. A couple of P2, well, four P250s and a Glock. Oh, so. I love this. If you can get Vision over there, dropping his util to his friend to provide too much info, way too much. And now an AWP has actually fallen behind that blue. Already quick steps on Nickelback. He could catch the rotate here. Nice info. Gate does catch him. Not dead, but wounded. Bleeding. From every orifice. And that's the end of that. Okay. Secrets unlocked. Gade gives his team a nice sigh of relief with that. That off angle at ramp right there. I don't think you're getting past that either. Yeah, the kills just keep coming in left, right, and center. Two more to find right now. And let's make that one. Mopped on up. Tizzy in. He'll get it done and looking good now, our big. It has been close. They have been pushed. There have been moments. But they're looking like they're in the driver's seat here. Plenty of cash to splash. Investment's not a problem. Entropic, the same. But I just, I, I do think like grindy has just been how this game has felt, right? Like there hasn't been a momentum flow. It's been quite back and forth. There's been some odd moments, especially that, uh, that Gade 4K round with the kill on the ladder. Like, uh, you're going to go back and you're going to recount some of these, and then Tropic have even used their last time out here. So uh, they've already invested in that Elian AWP. Everybody else yet to buy. I think they're waiting for their marching orders of what utility is required here to pull off the magic round. The buy is coming on through now. Do we need HEs? Are we going to prioritize flashes? Tin hut. And away we go. So 2,900. As the loss bonus has been able to see them this buy coming on through again and Crad one more time is opting for that Krieg. Some extra utility treats as Keto takes a risk. It makes sense. Not gonna be retrieving them from secret anytime soon. Nice little quirk to the gameplay. Searson advancing. And it's a little late to the lobby hold, so there's a there's a world where Searson just sits here. He can. He can just park the bus right here, right now. And do exactly that. What a shot. There's more to come, isn't there? Elian responds, takes down the, his counterpart. 
on the German roster. Lackey's got a bit of pace behind the red container, but Keto's in a prime position to deny. And it's unlikely he goes dry. Oh, looking for info, and he's shy. Nice shot. Just a slither of Lackey, and he does drop a deep smoke, so indicative of his intentions there. Maybe that lulls them into a false sense of security. They wouldn't try and oh, walk the toes, through it. The toes, any second now. Could get caught here, Crad. Is in pursuit of this, so bombs on Elliot. It's Crad's responsibility to call it clear, and he won't be able to do it. Great reactions out of Keto. Doesn't hesitate for a second. Entropic just running out of opportunities now. I hate to say it, but it might even have to be another save here. Like, it, it, it doesn't feel ideal by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, but what are you meant to do? Like, there's 20 seconds left on the clock. Forrester is smoked off, which is about to fade. He'd have to go bonkers right now. Elian would need to hit an absolute scorcher onto yeah. Keto. It, it is just the save. Right, they've gone fishing, but with no intention to catch the fish, right? They're just there for fun right now, and well, this is 15 now for big. Run out of steam here. And some great shooting from Keto. But yeah, th it has just petered out, right? It is really just, I don't know, there's no wind with it beneath the sails here. And I'm not even sure what they can do to, to get themselves into this. Yeah, Nickelback scratching his head. I, I mean, want something fast, but at the same time, uh, like what... Right there, they were playing counter Strike by the book. We kill the Orpa, we go back to Yard, because we know that there's no Orpa, so there's no long-range fights that we can essentially lose here. But anyway, big. You've got to admire it. They've just been able to keep grinding away at this one and put themselves one round away here. So much util early. You can see it. You can hear it. Forrester certainly can't see much. Deep smoke into that warehouse zone. So variation of the L bend, but Lackey's quick on it. Very quick. And it did bait Gay to look away. Now that's a round. That's beautiful. I can't believe Searson's even going for the Hail Mary. Up the ladder. Goes for the no scope. But yeah, I mean, you couldn't have asked for more. They're in Tropic. The timing on that. <laughs> what is going on? Do you know what they just did? Like they completely <laughs> exploited your expectations. When the wall of when the elf block smokes land, you're concerned about your lobby. You know you've got a little window. You want to maybe put some bullets to the secret cross. Never mind. Lackey is already got vision. He's already swinging through main and gay just pantsed. The top site falls and the rest. Well, it's 13. It felt like something a little bit more decisive right Very. there. You know, less about just the wander around and hope you find a pick. It felt like they had a goal coming out of spawn, and they're able to keep this one going, uh -oh. but only just seriously. Needs to run. Door swung open. He's getting chased. Should get away with this one right here, right now. So the orb retained. Oof. Say that. Just, just retained. There's enough money to go for the buys here. They can drop some guns across, I do believe. Good stuff from Lackey and, and heads up play. So let's see. Are they going to continue? Something like more decisive here. Are they going to fall back into where their issues have come from? Those slower, more meandering players across the map. But where this game is at, if Entropic win this one, it, it feels like we are destined for overtime. There's just not enough money left in the big bank balances to get the full buys out going forward. It is going to get very awkward here to the final round of play. So if Entropic can win this, uh, maybe we will have overtime on the agenda. We do have a little bit of a tech issue here. Should be a quick one to fix, normally is. So just bear with us, guys. Do have uh, the B stream going on right now as well. If you want to find that on uh, Twitch, I do believe it's twitch.tv oh. slash pgl underscore csgo. Oh, that's nice. The producer just told me what's going on. Oh, what? It, what? what can, what's the drama? Bardoff was uh, charging his Tamagotchi. His Tamagotchi. Straight into the server. What is that? Still from 1994. Yeah. Yeah, he's still got his 1994 he's kept Tamagotchi. It alive. Yeah, he was, he's basically, all those years. Well, what the problem was is he, he was trying to pick up the waste of the Tamagotchi, here, you know, mid-series. Oh, mid of course. Series. Of course. It was a problem. Trying to pick it all up, but ran out of battery and in a, in, in a rush, unplugged the mainframe. Okay, fair enough. 
Sorry about that. What, what happens if you have to change the battery on your Tamagotchi? I was wondering the same thing. But fortunately, Bardock's got the converted chargeable version. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was premium back that, in... I mean, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't think we even did that. Don't know what year the Tamagotchi's or came the out. Or the lithium I am, ion. I'm trying with uh, 1994 here. But you guys can see that the funny business can stop because... Oh, good God. This time's ticking on down. All right. Couldn't really be more of the business end of this best of one. <laughs> uh, openings game for Entropic and Big, and every team looking to start off strong, of course. He says a sentence with absolutely no substance. That's my specialty. So let's get into it. Let's see if they can have something as decisive as the previous. Like Entropic, that's the first round we've seen in some time where it does look like a true threatening T side. Well, this is looking fast as well. They've guaranteed that smoke wall cross with their own Molotov here, but Sirison's got one pinned. Forrester is in a bit of trouble. And they've got Tabson this time responsible for the yard cross. Forrester could catch this and out, but he's quick on oh, the reflexes. And <sighs> loud, like he's loud, yeah. And he's heard people drop secret as well, so a bit of a weird one for Searson to deal with. He slipped past twice, but Searson looks aware and hits the shot. 4v5. Okay. Problem now and actually looking to change it up. They smoke lockers on the fly. This is an on the fly call, Chad. And they will clear him out. Nickelback again with impact. Tabson could have and should have perhaps had more than one. They're swarming heaven. Still 60 seconds on this, and they are going for that counter boost. Now, this could lead to a bit of an element of surprise here. If he hurries up, you can see Gade got pace on the mind. He wants to close this gap and just about tucks in. Oh, he's going to hide. Yeah, that's perfect. The barrel won't be spotted. Instead, changes his mind. Looking for an off angle. One of the two required. And they've still got time to cook this one up. The bomb was spotted, though. Lackey had that equipped, and he was the one to trade. And so into the low site they go. Quick catch. Crowd unable to support the bomb, however, now planted. And Elian's in a great position to provide some covering fire. Oh, Oof, just shy. Searson provides. It's up to Lackey now. Entropic counting on Lackey. 48 points of health. Two barreling towards him. Rifles equipped. Needs them both and denied. Big Clan will take it with some extra time to spare and a round for good measure. 16 to 30. Close. They didn't get it done in the easy way by any mean, right? They were, they were forced across the line. They were forced into some whoopsies. Uh, some moments there that we were scratching our head from both sides. Like that round in lobby where Gade got caught with the bomb and then it's like Ooh. they're retaking lobby. And it was an odd one. It yep. was definitely an odd one here, but big get across the line. I think that was the expected result. In Tropica, one of these teams that are a bit of a bogey team, they oh. could have come in, they could have caught fire, they could have had a very good land performance.